Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this short tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can create this great looking snow effect directly in PowerPoint. And while we're creating this, I'm going to show you three great tips that really improve this sort of animation and that you can use on many other things. So let's jump into it. As usual, the first thing we're going to do is going to go to File New, Blank Presentation, Layout Blank. And as the snow will be white, Initially, the easiest way of working with it is just to right click, choose Format Background and pick a solid fill that's something like a mid-grey, just so we can see what we're working with. Now, let's create the snow. So we'll start with an oval. And we'll just click to reveal it here. I want the size to be about 0.8 of the first one. This is going to be my biggest snow. And then I'm going to go to Shape Fill choose white and choose no outline. Then we'll go to effects, soft edges, and then make sure this is on about five points should do. That's going to create a nice snow effect. And so I think the simplest way of animating this is to animate the first one and then make a few tweaks and change the size of the snow for the other bits of snow that are going to fall. And then I'm going to show you a great tip for how to make it keep looping and keep looking realistic. So let's animate this bit of snow. We're going to start with it nearer the top and I'll move it out when I eventually finish but start with it here for ease of use. We'll go to animations and we're going to use a motion path that's a custom path which means you can draw it in. So about four or five clicks and that's our custom path. You can see the snow start to fall there. So when we play this, there's one thing that you'll notice straight away. It doesn't look like it's falling very naturally because the edges are so sharp of the animation. So we can right click on this and choose edit points. And then if you right click on one of the points, you can choose smooth point. And we're going to apply this to all of the points. So now when we click to adjust, we can make certain bits longer. We can move them about by dragging them. and We can change the curve by using these corner handles here. And I'm going to click off the whole thing to move the actual animation up. And the snow up because it will be starting at the top of the page. And I will want it to ideally finish near the bottom of the page. So when I play this, it's going to look a little more realistic. The next thing we need to do is slow it right down. And for these, I'd imagine somewhere between 10 and 20 seconds for most of the snowfall will look pretty good. So I can change the duration of this. I'll set this to 10 seconds and then play it from there. starting to look pretty good. I'm just going to squash this in so it moves less to the left and right. I'm just picking up the handles to do this. And if you ever want to get rid of any of these points, you can either right click on them and choose delete point, or you can hold down the control key, and click on them, and that will delete them. What we're going to do is when we create the others, we'll create a little variation. But I think this one's good enough to go now. So here's our first falling snow. Now we can click on this, press duplicate and then drag it. And it will have the path with it. And we're going to go to the size of the snow. And this will be a smaller piece of snow, so we might do it at 0.6. And I'm also going to click on it, pull it a little bit higher. And then we'll edit the path just so it looks slightly different as it falls. Which when we copy a lot of them will make a big difference, especially as we'll change the speed as well. You can just randomly drag bits of this, but just don't make it too drastic, otherwise it will look odd. 
So now there'll be two bits of snow falling. If we go to the animation pane, we want to make sure that these all happen with previous. So they'll all happen together. And if we click on the second one and change the duration to 20 seconds, it will fall a lot slower. So we'll just preview that. And what we want it to do now is when it hits what's going to be the ground near the bottom, we want it to like evaporate, effectively disappear and start again. This will create quite a natural looking rotation of the snow because everything will be staggered when we do this. So we're going to double click on the first oval in the animation pane and then we'll go to timing and make sure that repeat is until end of slide and we'll apply that to the second oval as well. Timing, repeat, end of slide. So now when we play, when the first one hits the bottom, it will disappear and replay again. That's looking good already. So I'm going to duplicate a few. I'm going to change the duration, probably making them between a few and 20 seconds. And then we'll make a few edits to the path and then we'll have something looking pretty good. And then we'll add our background in. So control D to duplicate one of these. I'm just going to make it a different size, say 0.7 on this one. Just going to click on the path and hit edit points. So you right click on the path, edit points. This will allow me to make something that looks different to the other two. Again, it doesn't matter too much as long as it's nothing too drastic. So I'll just zoom out a tiny bit. We'll probably want about 15 of these will probably look good. So I'm just swiping over them and selecting them and pressing duplicate to copy them into different places. Some will be higher, some will be lower. Just creates a random snowfall effect. As long as the start position of all of them is slightly higher than the top of the screen, all should be good. So now I think I've probably got enough of them. Just going to click on a couple of these points to change the direction. Again, right click, edit points, you can just change the direction there. Now if we play, They'll look pretty good, but all the times will either be 10 or 20 seconds because that's how we did the first two. So you can see they fall too uniformly. So all we need to do is go in and make sure they all fall at a different time. Once we've got that, we'll be nearly there. So I'm just going to randomly put these on any time, starting at about eight seconds and ending at about 20 seconds, that will be the highest point. It doesn't really matter what any of these are on, but ideally they should all be a slightly different time. So let's see how that looks. Pretty good. So we'll just get the background in. We'll right click on the background, choose format background, picture or texture fill, insert stock images, type in snow. And there's the background I chose for this example. I think it looks really good. And then let's preview that. Excellent. There we go. A nice looking, non-uniform, snow falling effect directly in PowerPoint. And there was a couple of really good principles that we took from that. One of them being that you can right click on a motion path and smooth it or add or remove points to customize it just as you want. The other is that you can go into timing on the effect and repeat until end of slide. And the fact that I made these all different times means that the way they rotate and keep looping, it keeps it looking interesting and nothing's too uniform. So I really like this effect. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.